Hello and welcome to the DrupalCon North America 2021 site tutorial tour. Um, and this video will just give you an idea of what to expect uh, the week of the event. So uh, right now we are in the event and we are on the main reception page, which is kind of considered the homepage or the landing page for the event. Um, once you're in, you will notice that you have the event chat here to the left, and we've already had a few um, speakers come in and say hello. Uh, so this is the site-wide um, event chat. So this does not go away. This stays up there and continues on through the duration of the event. We also have um, event polls. This would be event-wide again. These will be posted by organizers, just a fun way to stay engaged. Uh, one of the nice things you will see is a list of the attendees who have joined the event in the people section. Uh, one of my one of the easiest features and the nicest things to do is that when you do find somebody that you'd like to connect with, you can go ahead and click on the profile picture and it will give you the opportunity to invite them to a video call, schedule a meeting, or send a message. Um, moving over, you have the Q&A tab, uh, which is where you can ask event organizers a question. Um, we will also be manning the Zendesk email, um, which has been the information email address uh, that's been used so far, um, but you also have the opportunity to ask here. Um, and then you have, of course, the Twitter feed to see what's happening and what's being posted about the event in real time. So if you scroll down, um, you will see uh, your event schedule. There are a few ways to visit the sessions and visit um, things that are happening. Uh, what's happening now will always appear here. You will also have the navigation tabs um, over to the left or the navigation menu here to the left that will also um, take you to where you wanna go. So we have the just some event description and key housekeeping notes here. Feel free to, um, we do suggest checking in here for updates throughout the event. And then below you do have the event schedule. What's nice is that you can uh, use the schedule here um, to add things to your calendar and build out your week. So we said that there were a few ways to access a session. Um, you do have visit sessions. You'll say visit something on the stage, visit something in the expo hall. That will all appear here. You can certainly click there, but you can also use these tabs as we mentioned before. The stage is open at all times. So you will have, um, in clicking in open to the stage, uh, you do see um, what there will be a feed um, or not a feed. You'll be joining on the session as it's going at the moment. Um, and then you also have stage exclusive chat polling and Q&A opportunities. Um, and as the stage is a function that stays open throughout the duration of the conference, uh, the chat will stay up the entire time. Scrolling to uh, next to the sessions, again, from the main page, you can click over to the sessions, but you also have the ability to click here. And this will show you what's live at the moment. Uh, we have several options um, and opportunities, uh, both to find things for your tracks, but also visit uh, this year's hallway track. So the hallway track is for impromptu gatherings and conversations on the fly. Um, they're just open rooms where any attendees can join in to meet others. It's just a great um, networking engagement opportunity. So once you click in, um, you are, these are limited to six people at a time. They're just here to encourage conversation, um, encourage networking, as we said. So by clicking this button here to share your audio and video, you will be asked to um, just approve for the proper allowances. And then uh, once you apply, you'll be on camera. Once you're on camera, you'll see how many people are on screen with you, obviously, um, but then also just how many spaces are being taken up. So right now there are six spaces, I'm using one. Um, if I were to share my screen, that actually counts as a person as well, um, but it's just a nice way to see what's going on. We also have other attendees viewing right now. So if someone else is viewing the session along with me in real time. Um, you do have the capability to, um, they will join if they'd like. Hi, Melissa. Hi, um, and this is Michelle. Um, and Michelle is joining me on the, on the tour today to um, make sure that we show you everything um, appropriately. So here we go. So we do have a little bit of information down below. This is as part of the session capability and you'll see this in the sessions. Uh, this is again, capped at six people at a time and it's a shared public space with the event. So the hallway tracks will stay open the entire time. So the chat uh, polling people Q and A will be up. So once you leave the room, just know that anything in the chat um, will, not, um, will not go away um, and that these hallway track sessions are, um, being recorded. Um, and code of conduct still applies. 
So within the sessions, um, if we go back to the sessions, and I'm going to leave this broadcast, um, you do the sharing is similar. The sharing camera um, opportunity is quite similar. So back to the live session module um, modules, what you'll see here in the agenda for the sessions um, is a live session here. It is moderated, so I'm going to click in. And the reason we want to show you this is that within sessions, you do have the opportunity to ask to share your audio and video. So if you want to do that, what you can do is just click, or if there's a time for questions similar to before, it will ask you for the same permissions and you'll click and what you'll see is that I'm waiting for approval. So what that means is that these speakers and the moderators do have the ability to accept people onto stage. Um, so thanks for letting me join Michelle. Yeah. Or they, and they can ask you to leave or remove you from the stage um, when they're ready. Okay. Um, so below the session, one key thing is there will be a session survey link down here during the event. We do ask that you um, give feedback uh, to our speakers, and so that information will always be down here, and there will be exclusive links for each session. Um, within the session, similar to the stage, you do have your own chat. Um, so you do have an event chat, again, that is wide, but using um, conference-wide, but using the session tab, you'll be able to click through um, and do session exclusive chat polling and Q&A. One of the next features, um, if you're new to hop in, that's a lot of fun, is our networking module. And so within networking, um, it's kind of a networking roulette. So what you do is if you're ready to come in, um, I will click the ready button. I will allow my permissions again, and it is going to match me with somebody else who happens to be in the networking session module. Um, let's try that again. Oh, and so I'm meeting Michelle. Um, and this is randomized. Um, so if there are a lot of people, you never know who you'll meet. Uh, within after one second, um, you do have the second to leave. So you can um, or the opportunity to leave. Or, but if you do want to continue talking, um, you will see a countdown countdown timer counting down from three minutes from the second that you're connected. Um, and then what you will have the opportunity to do after um, when there's one minute minute left is actually extend your time together or to connect. Um, and exchange information. So um, there is, that's the, the networking capability. It's a lot of fun um, and it's just a great way to meet somebody new. And next I'm gonna let Michelle show us around the Expo Hall. All right, so as you can see, the Expo Hall has boosts from a bunch of our various sponsors. You can scroll down and peruse through all of the different booths and whatnot that these individuals have built out for you. We're gonna go into Media Current actually, or Acromedia, perfect. Nope, you can stay here, Melissa, thank you. So when you're inside the booth, you will see if they are not live, most likely they will have some videos up on the screen for you to watch. If you go up to the top corner where it says one of 17, that actually means that they have a whole playlist full of YouTube videos that you can watch. So you can kind of go through all of that, watch the ones that you want at your own leisure and enjoy the information that they're providing. Mm -hmm. If you look over to the right side as well, you'll see similar to how all the sessions and the reception page has, you've got kind of all the different chat, polls, people, Q&A, all of the various information that you see on everything else. But the one key difference here is the offer tab. So this is another location where they can give you some further information about their company, details, and any kind of offer that they have exclusive to the conference itself. If you also go down, you'll see another button that may vary what it says, um, but it is a button on the offer page that you can click to either get more information, let the booth staff know that you're requesting more content from them, and they will get an email with your information and they can then reach out to you specifically to kind of follow up on your request. If you scroll down to, or this booth might not have it, I apologize, but if you do scroll down, some booths may have some additional information that populates underneath the uh, videos that are showing there. And that might have some additional images or links, just depends on how the booth staff themselves have kind of flushed out their booth specifically. So if you enter into the booth and it is during live expo halls, you'll see similar to the sessions where you can ask to share and kind of join your video. And you should see at that time too, the booth staff kind of sitting in the booth doing a presentation. So you'll see that option for you to kind of join and engage with them in face-to-face, -face, similar to if you're alive in person, how you kind of walk into a booth and be able to chat with that booth staff. 
Um, that is the expo hall. We hope you enjoy kind of perusing through and visiting all of the individual sponsors. Um, and that is the site itself. We hope you are excited as we are for the conference and conference week, and we hope you get the best experience out of it. Thank you. See you soon.